We help found the field of comparative proteogenomics. Look excited, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> the University of California San Diego undergraduates are excited about their new area of bioinformatics, which may improve both genomic and proteomic annotations. To be given the opportunity to, to publish at the undergraduate level in, in a journal such as Genome Research is uh, it's really exciting. A new study introducing comparative proteogenomics appears in the July 2008 issue of the journal Genome Research. In sort of a regular research laboratory. You pretty much, you go in, um, either you're working with a graduate student or a postdoc, and you go in for your four hours a day or whatnot, and you just kind of do what they tell you to do. Computer science professor Pavel Pevsner took a different approach. He created the Bioinformatics Undergraduate Research Consortium in Comparative Proteogenomics. In the consortium, it was different because uh, we would all members would meet as a group, including the professors, um, as well as the graduate student that was in charge. And as a group, we would sort of discuss where this project was going, uh, different problems to look at, and different ways to look at the problems. We were given the freedom kind of to define where we might want to go, given this data set, um, and define research questions for ourselves, and as a team, work towards solving it. UCSD Bioinformatics PhD student Nitin Gupta managed the many branches of this research project and serves as the first author on the genome research paper. Our, our part of the paper was involved in um, investigating specific properties of, of Shawanella, um, uh, things like pH or hydrophobicity. Shawanella uh, has been known to fix some heavy metals for envi environmental spills or industrial cleanup sites, uh, there's been a lot of interest in using it to um, make the area less toxic or the water less toxic. So I guess part of what we were doing is using comparative proteogenomics to help understand how this organism functions. One of the reasons for comparative proteogenomics um, is its uh, ability to overcome some of the obstacles um, that were found with not only just proteogenomics but also comparative genomics. And comparative genomics is important because it's used to uh, annotate the new genomes that are coming out on uh, an almost weekly basis. And if we don't have good annotation for those genomes, then uh, we're missing a lot of the information that could be uh, important not only just from a purely scientific point of view, but also potentially from a clinical point of view. It's an experience that, that I enjoyed a lot and um, we'll definitely do again. <laughs> so. I concur. <laughs> <laughs>